Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the z-value in Excel. If you're interested to learn how to find probabilities using the z-formula and functions in Excel, take a look at the video. I'll post the link right here. So here the probability is already given. The question tells us that this is a standard normal variable and we need to find the value of z, but the probability on the right side of this value of z is 0.1500. So I've created a curve here to demonstrate this. So let's say our x value is right here at 1. So what the question is basically telling us is the probability on the right side should be equal to 0 0.1500, but we don't know the z value, so we need to find that z value. In Excel, in order to solve these type of questions, you can use the norm dot s dot inverse function so when you open up the bracket it's going to ask you to put the probability in i'm going to type 0 0.1500 so the value given here is 1.04 what this means is right here 1.04 will be somewhere around here so the area on the right side of 1.04 should equal to 0 0.1500 now, you need to be careful with the negative and the positive sign. If we were to use this value, it would tell us that negative 1.4 is right here, but the right side is not equal to 0 0.1500. So here the question is telling us that the area on the right side is 0 0.1500. So instead of negative, it should be positive 1.04 because the right side of 1.04 is 0 0.1500. You can check this using the norm dot s dot test function here the first argument is going to ask you for the z value we're going to put positive 1.04 and we're using the true statement so at this point 851 tells us the area on the left side of 1.04 now since the area under the curve is equal to 1 we deduct this from 1 and you will find that this is indeed equal to 0.15 Another way to get to this answer quicker is since the question told you that the right side of the area is equal to 0.15, when you were putting in your formula, the norm.s.inverse, if you do 1 minus 0.15, you will get the answer 1.04. So we covered two ways on how you can find the z value in Excel using the norm.s.inverse function. 